one mission. One single aim and one single goal. We are moving the science forward to finding a cure. Real progress. We have already a cell therapy that works. Transplanting islet cells to restore natural insulin production. We know that islets work. Dramatically improving the lives of patients. Totally insulin free for over 10 years now. So they've changed my world for me, my whole life. Now for the next Quantum Leap. At the Diabetes Research Institute, the vision is to achieve a biological cure, to restore natural insulin production without imposing other risks. The DRI's approach, the creation of a biohub, a bioengineered mini organ that mimics the native pancreas, sensing blood sugar levels and releasing the precise amount of insulin needed in real time. The biohub will mean in simple real terms that you would be able to produce your own insulin in response to glucose. You would have a mini organ. And with that, on the right place that we put it in the person, I think this disease is totally reversible. Traditionally, islets have been transplanted into the liver, but this site is not ideal. So the DRI is now transplanting these cells into the omentum, the lining covering abdominal organs. This site is rich in blood vessels, key for delivering oxygen to islet cells, and is easy to access surgically. As part of a new clinical trial, islets are combined with the patient's own plasma, the liquid part of the blood, and the mixture is applied onto the omentum. Then they're adding a commonly used enzyme called thrombin to create a gel-like substance that sticks to the omentum and holds the islets in place, forming what scientists call a biodegradable scaffold. In this image of islets implanted in the biodegradable scaffold, you can see it looks like netting formed by microscopic fibers. Scientists then fold the omentum and add more thrombin to secure the edges. Over time, the body absorbs the gel, leaving the islets intact, and new blood vessels form that help support the islet's survival and function. Biohub platforms provide the opportunity to add oxygen. Islets require a lot of it. So this will help them survive until new blood vessels grow and supply oxygen naturally. Scientists also could add helper cells and other agents to stimulate blood vessel growth. These helper cells also reduce inflammation and help defend the islets from an attack by the immune system which sees the new cells as foreign. To add further protection from immune attack, DRI scientists have developed unique technologies to coat the cells with a protective ultra-thin barrier like shrink wrapping, to prevent the immune system from destroying the islets. A biohub also provides the option to supply low-dose anti-rejection drugs locally to fend off immune attack without shutting down the entire immune system. And researchers are testing another approach, stopping the attack from immune cells before it even starts, tricking the immune system so it tolerates and does not reject the transplanted islets. Not only this site will replace the liver as a site for transplantation, but also allow to introduce components that will eventually lead us to perform islet transplantation without immunosuppression. The DRI is pursuing this goal with partners worldwide. It's the hub of the DRI Federation, a global network of 24 leading diabetes research centers. Our network ability, our outreach, our structure, if you would, has enabled us to pull the very best from anywhere on the planet. But to make a biohub a reality, to aggressively shrink the timeline toward the discovery of a biological cure, funding is critical. And with government research dollars increasingly scarce, support must come from people who are serious, passionate, and committed to finding a cure. Private fundraising is really the only way that these kinds of advances can be made. We want to take it to the end, and we will not be able to do that without private support. Real progress. It feels like a whole new way of life. It feels fantastic. I just, ugh, gives me chills even thinking about it. How my life was before, to compare it how now, it's like freedom. I didn't know life could be so good and you could feel so good. Leading with excellence. I think it's about the passion of wanting to help the patients. Ready to take the next quantum leap. It 
gets me in here every morning early and going home every night late, trying to knock this out of the park. Join us. We're in this together to reach the biological cure.